Now, generally speaking, Adobe does a good job of supporting multiple RAW formats, but it's possible that you might be using an older version of Lightroom. Maybe you're using a version of Lightroom with a perpetual license and it doesn't recognize a newer camera. What you can always do is reveal your RAW file at the Finder level. Just choose Show in Finder or Show in Explorer. Adobe makes a great tool called Adobe DNG Converter. It's a free tool. And Adobe keeps this up to date to support the latest cameras. So even if you're using an older version of Adobe apps, you can convert to a DNG file that those old apps will recognize. What you need to do now is choose a folder of images. So let's select that folder and I'll navigate to this folder that I'm working with. Exercise files, controlling raw files. There we go. I'll tell it to save them in the same location, but I'll make a new subfolder here called DNGs. Now what I could do is have it save it. And if I click change preferences, you'll notice that we could take this to an older version of DNG like Camera Raw 7.1. This way it'll work when you encounter an older version of Lightroom. Now when I click OK and convert, those files are going to be processed. You can see the conversion happening and they're stored into DNG files. You'll now need to import those DNG files into Lightroom and they should be ready to use. You won't likely need this tactic if you're using current up-to-date software. But if for some reason you don't want to upgrade your Lightroom application or you can't, this will allow you to access newer RAW files by simplifying them to an older DNG standard that your version of the software can open.